to leave as one state champion is a good accomplishment, but to leave as three is just unheard of. And it's amazing to be able to come off my last year of high school and say that I won three state championships in one year. It's just amazing. When Bayfield High School won the 3A track and field state championship, they joined only five other teams in state history to pull off a triple crown for football, basketball, and track and field. Of the many athletes who contributed to the successful season, four student athletes stand out. Dax Snooks, Ryan Phelps, and brothers Carl and Dawson Hyde contributed in securing state championships in all three sports. Well, we came into football pretty confident because we knew we had all of the greatest athletes all in the same grades, and we were really happy to have that, and we just felt like we were going to dominate that year. And we just did what a Wolverine does and went out there and dominated every single game. And then we went to basketball. We never really thought about winning a state basketball uh, tournament at the end, but it seems like all our great athletes were able to put it together and we ended up winning the state championship. And in track, we started from the bottom and actually like, we didn't really pay attention to that at all. We just worked our hardest again and executed at the end and it paid off. Well, specifically the track and field season was a great accomplishment for us. You know, we started the season knowing we had a lot of great athletes, but how would we fare against some of the top teams that have won the state here, most recently Lutheran Classical Academy? But tell you what, every week our guys seem to improve, our numbers seem to match up a little more with the other top teams. And by the time we got to that state tournament, we knew we had a shot because uh, we had some great performances right before state going in. And uh, our guys just came and answered the bell of all three days, couldn't be more proud of them. In track, we had a chance last year too, but then our graduation messed with it, so all the seniors went home. So we didn't get it. So it was kind of like another shot this year. We had the people again. And then in basketball, we uh, we didn't really expect that at all. Like that was something surprising for sure. It shocked us, the community, the school, everyone. Success like this doesn't come easy. These incredible student athletes work tirelessly throughout the summer and into the regular season, staying late after practice and putting in the work to become champions. I oh, have yeah, for sure everyone we were working out in the off season in the summer for football, basketball. We were all busy playing sports. I mean, we didn't have a break. We just went from one sport to another to another, and everyone kept pushing and pushing and showed a lot of dedication and heart throughout the seasons. In football, there'd be so many kids, like after practice, coach would dismiss practice, we'd break and all that, and there'd be so many kids after practice running routes, doing like shuffle drills and all that. In basketball, the same thing happened. Our coach would stay late for about 30 minutes with the gym open just so we could shoot and barely anybody went home unless they had something to do. While athleticism and hard work seem to prevail this year, many students attribute success to the family that surrounds Bayfield High School. Well, most of these guys have been, they've grown up together. I didn't move here till seventh grade, but as soon as I moved here, I was welcomed in and I felt like I was a part of this town, this community. We formed a brotherhood and we have great friendship in every sport and it just helps to have that through the seasons. I've grown up with probably 80% of the kids that we played with all this year, like Dax. He's been in my classes since I can remember. We knew each other before school even started. Carl and Dawson came in middle school and they just fit right in with us. I mean, they're great kids. I love them both. With high school behind them, these young men had a few words to pass on to the individuals with state championship ambitions who fill their shoes next year. You gotta put in the work to get the victory. So all I'd say to them is, I know it seems hard now, like grinding after practice and all this, even after work and stuff. It might seem hard, but it'll be worth it in the end when you get the rings. I mean, it's definitely rare to get one, but I definitely wouldn't say it's out of the question. When one class can get three in a year, there's no doubt that anybody coming in can get, any, can get another one. And I mean, Bayfield kind of has an act for getting state championships recently. So anybody coming up definitely has a, some big shoes to fill.